The power of music is well recognised for lifting people's mood. Wigan Council's music service and festivals such as Rock and Stroll and Wigan International Jazz Festival offer regular events and help to create a vibrant music scene. Our initial work as we've developed the service was all about working in schools, providing instrumental music lessons and ensembles for the uh, children in the borough. Uh, but more recently we've started to, I guess, be inspired by the Wigan deal and think about how what we do in music education and music engagement and the secondary benefits of learning music and participating in music can help with some of the wider issues, not only for children but also for some of the adults in the borough as well. Playing in the ensembles uh, gets you out meeting new people which is always good for boosting your confidence and then playing in front of audiences like I played in some venues that some people would just never get to play in ever like we played in the Royal Albert Hall in London twice Birmingham Symphony Hall Bridgewater Hall so that just helps confidence and it's just really enjoyable it totally changes their lives and there are so many case studies that we could recount of um, really that come from parents, not from the children themselves, who say to us, thank goodness that they took up learning to play an instrument because that's given them this really uh, structured um, uh, community in which to spend their leisure time. Without the music service, my life wouldn't be anything like it is now because at the minute my life pretty much revolves around music because it's what I want to do. And all the opportunities that have got me where I am now have been created by the music service. Taking that improved self-esteem, purposefulness, uh, application back into school and it really having a seriously positive impact on their academic attainment as well. My background is uh, working with people with autism and I developed this idea of working in a recording capacity, music recording capacity with people with autism and learning disabilities and reached out. The council were originally trying to work uh, to find like bespoke services for people so they could be very person-centred services. Through the septicemia we ended up with epilepsy uh, and me, me life has just been a catalogue of operations, things up to say about two years ago when I met Nigel and from that point onwards he's, because I was down, I was depressed, I had no friends, no social life, no, you know, no hopes like of anything, you know, coming good in my life type of thing. And since I met Nigel, everything's turned around. He's encouraged me to get into drumming again. But with technology, you know, if somebody, if somebody can't sing in time with the music, you can, you can use technology to help them sing more in time with the music, which is what they want. And, it's, and, and, and that, you know, that, that makes it much more of a real experience for them expressing myself i didn't have an outlet obviously you know we're suffering like with depression and anxiety and everything getting me out of my illness yeah i had no outlet so i was stuck in so just the creative side and being allowed to do what i love doing and in a safe environment and that and making something productive at the end of it and feeling like i'm part of something again it's just enriched my life completely music's one of those things i feel that gives people initially the buzz and there's the camaraderie as well. People come along here. Quite a lot of people will be on their own. They'll come either because they're single and, and uh, have been widowed for, uh, and have been uh, just looking for some opportunity to have social occasions. This is good for that. We, we have with us um, at the festival uh, a gentleman who we've seen for many years and he's gone through difficult times. Um, for one reason or another. I'm not quite sure of the reasons why. I just know he suffered from depression, his mum passed away and uh, his life was in a bit of a mess, to be honest. But suddenly he's, he started coming back to the festival and he uh, is smiling, he's enjoying it. He's you can see his confidence grow as the event goes on. He chats to people at the bar or over dinner or over tea and he, he, it's really helped him a lot. Just the opportunity one, to see young musicians being able to express their talents and perform in public, but also the community spirit and, and what it generates in terms of everybody having an enjoyable day, enjoying it together on the park. Previous ones have been nice and sunny and everybody's had a great day in the sun, but even torrential downpours didn't put people off and it just shows how much people want that type of activity, enjoy that type of activity, and really benefited from that day of enjoying uh, 
some of our best musical talent in the borough. The Age UK Silver Choir is a regular group that helps to tackle social isolation in older people. When you're singing, you're breathing correctly, which is very good for people who have anxiety. Deep breaths in, letting it out, and it does relax you. We smile a lot, and people in the audience tell us that we smile, and it gives us a buzz. I don't know how to express it really, but it just feels great. We feel good about it and happy. And we're a good group of people. We all gel, which is good. And I love to perform. I really get a buzz out of it. And people like us, people pay to see us, <laughs> which is very nice. And people tell us that we're good. I didn't know what music was about. I didn't know where all those squiddly lines were until Anne brought me down to earth and showed me. So that's an achievement at my time of life anyway. My uh, ill mental health came to the fore more than 40 years ago when one of my children died. And um, that set me back many, many years. And there have been other anxieties within the family as well, still are. But I think doing this really keeps me going. I think if I didn't have this, I would have a less than good life. Manchester Camerata is a chamber orchestra that was founded in the 1970s. And our vision is to redefine what an orchestra can do. So that means that we collaborate with um, innovative artists and perform in different venues and experiment with the traditional concert experience. And for over 20 years, we've had a Camerata in the Community Programme, which very much shares that same ethos. And on every project that we deliver in our programme, we aim to create new pieces of music with people. So pieces of music that tell a story and that impact on people's lives in some way. So that could be, for example, exploring a curriculum topic through music, or it could be working with older people and people living with dementia to help um, improve their well-being. Wigan is one of the boroughs in which we have received a lot more support than others across Greater Manchester, and I think that is in particular because of the Dementia Friendly Communities um, programme. And actually that programme um, has been so useful that they've um, asked us to apply for funding to um, continue supporting younger people living with dementia through monthly music making sessions in Wigan. So it's the one borough in Great Manchester where we already have a tangible outcome for this project, which is really, really exciting. <laughs>